Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and welcome to another Ask the Experts segment where we're answering questions that we get through our website and uh, on our blog site. Today's question is from Alex in Springfield, Massachusetts, where he asks the question, I understand that plasma treatments can be used to change the surface properties of a plastic, but how do you measure that in a tangible way? Well, this is how we do it. This device is called a goniometer or a surface contact meter. And what this allows us to do is take a look at a piece of material, whether it be a plastic or an elastomer, and take a contact angle of that material by adding a small droplet of water, measuring that contact angle before the plasma, and then measuring it again after the plasma. That's a very tangible way to understand what the plasma process has done to that material. And what makes plasma so unique is that we can actually uh, vary that degree of angle dramatically by the types of gases we use, the amount of dwell time in the chamber, the amount of vacuum that's applied, the amount of RF energy that's applied. All of these come into play on determining exactly how we're going to change the surface tension properties of any given material. Uh, what other, the other unique thing about plasma is that uh, we can dial this in so tightly and so um, specifically that if a customer comes to us and says, we need a contact angle between 50 and 52, say, uh, we can do that. Um, and uh, we can then reproduce that through testing and monitor using the goniometer, uh, but more importantly, identify both before and after treatment exactly what's going on with the surface tendencies of that material. Um, Surface treatments of plastic and elastomers is a big part of what we do at TriStar Plastics. And so if you have questions about how this process using in vacuum plasma can uh, change the properties of your material to make it more friendly to adhesion, um, ink stamping, uh, possibly changing this, the surface structure to a point where we can actually uh, control microfluidic action across the surface of the material, um, make elastomers bond better. Um, we can even treat metals using plasma to super clean it and prepare it for overmolding and other processes. So if you have any questions about surface modification utilizing plasma and how we use the goniometer to uh, qualify that material, please give us a call or send me a question through the Ask the Expert site. Uh, be sure and check out our blog site because there's an awful lot of information uh, on plasma and how it affects the performance of a plastic or elastomer. Thanks for joining us again here at TriStar, and we look forward to seeing you in another segment.